Welcome back, fellow citizens of JAR, to Darren for Super President. This is the show in which we try to build our own country, take over that entire universe, and fix all of the universe's problems. If that sounds like something you think you might like, please hit that subscribe button down below to be counted as a citizen and to join us on our path to glory. Darren being sick update, less, but still there. And beard update, I don't know, like mid-2000s punk metal. Is that, is that about right? Am I punk enough? Fight the system. <laughs> Let's get into the community show, shall we? Sorry for being late today. Duh, I woke up an hour after the video was uploaded. What? I suppose time zones are a thing that are weird. I'm in British Columbia, so like, that, this one. But I keep forgetting that people that we live on like a perpetual circle of time. <laughs> Is this my chances? Bang. Hmm. Here's me in the Linkoping tattoo. I'm next to the guy on the left. And here's another one. I'm the youngest one in the front. This is incredible. I don't know if I can play specifically this music, because it might be like DMCA copyright takedown. The fact that you were actually like incredible at bagpipes, like I, I believed you, but I am still blown away to the level that I did not. Holy crap. <laughs> this is amazing. We need a JAR national anthem. Also, with a two-op number system, should have capitalized numbers. Just saying. Uh, we have a JAR national anthem. It's, uh, we have a video on it somewhere. But if we can translate it into two-op and figure that out, perhaps we can turn it into some crazy song one day. So, I just, I like the idea of everything being in two-op. Not to make work for everyone else. JAR propaganda is kind of like the channel's merchandise, so... That is cool. If I, I'll, I should at some point in time make just a compendium of all the stuff people have made so you can just freely download and print it. You ever played a game called City States or something like that? No. Unless you mean the game of politics. Or the game of thrones. Unoi paman tomanep a ni u up lego ton. A man has fallen into the river in Lego City. I now know what this what this meme means. Merchant 800. I'm work I'm working on it. What happens when Jar gets so big that the OGs get lost in a sea of comments? Uh, at that point, I probably would have a Discord or something just to keep just some amount of being able to hear people. <laughs> I, President of Falistan Federation, have recognized your people as a recognized nation, and I have your vote as well. Yeah, of course. Lovely. <laughs> I'm new. Want to be allies? Of course I do. Hello! Hey Darren, would you like me to make a jar bank? Like a jar jar banks? That would be fantastic. If you make a jar bank, show me, and then we'll put it here, on this side of the screen. Where, not where my face is though, because I like my face. <laughs> I just realized you look exactly like a combination of my spraining teacher and Drew Lynch. So sorry, I meant Spanish, I can't smart right now. I wish we had spraining teachers, that's like diet combat. <laughs> no real pain, just kind of. Is this the Drew Lynch you're talking about? I Google image searches. If we blend my face and his, would it make your Spanish teacher? Bang. Bang into the Rue. Thank you, Jesse J. Your contributions are most welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Glad to see you like it. I do like it. All the propaganda was fantastic, actually. Film school rough. I'm sorry for inactivity. Film school sounds like real things that people should actually get done, as opposed to Darren's fun YouTube channel. <laughs> So, focus on the things that matter most, and if you feel like having free time, come on down and say hi. No, we shouldn't be the priority, come on. Mottos for the Department of Propaganda. In service and decoration of Great Jar. And then Sweet as Honey says, if you can't read this, you're not one of us. Because people who aren't part of Jar can't read two obs, so they think it means something meaningful, when I guess it doesn't. The only- between the two of these, I would say... I would rather go for In the Circlers and Decoration of Jar because people who do translate it are going to get weirded out. On the other side, almost everything about Jar is about inclusion, so I don't think it's weird to have a motto that's, you're not one of us, <laughs> when it comes to anything Jar-like. We're more like the, you know, the ever-expanding ant colony that slowly encompasses all life. <laughs> I, in this case, I will go with In Service and Decoration of Great Jar. Thank you, Chinkalon. If we could get that in two of, it'd be great. If not, I'll see if I can figure out to translate myself. We'll see. Hmm. Interesting. Where you been? Busy. This just makes me feel like it's film noir, and I'm wearing a trilby, and I'm a private eye detective, and the streets are rainy, and I'm solving crime. K 
can I be in the Mockrist Party? Maybe? We're all part of the Mockrist Party. Because it's the party that encompasses all citizens. Everybody. <laughs> and will soon encompass all life. Oh, also, I made some stuff for Jar. And with that, <laughs> this has been your super presidential candidate, Darren, signing off for Monday, saying welcome to Jar. Jar takes all kinds. You are family now. Please join us this week and every week. We go up every single Saturday and Monday. Don't forget to check down below in the description for links to fun things, and I will leave you, as always, with our viewer-submitted motto for Jar, which is, we are Jar. If you love Jar, you love us. See you Saturday. And this episode is brought to you by... Luke, and also by Rachel, and also by Aiden. Three wonderful peppy people with particular personalities and pleasant peculiarities purchasing pensions for... Thank you. <laughs> Thanks.